Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to get those sweet airy blues inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now I know for a long time, before there was as much good color grading going on as there is now, you could really tell an airy camera by the way it rendered blues inside of an image, which is, you know, you could just look at the TV and say, that was shot on airy and impress all your friends because you knew that one little trick. Or at least, you know, that was one of the things. There's also, you know, all sorts of other stuff, but that was sort of my, at least my go-to thing. So inside of Resolve, we've got this lovely shot of Miss Allie Taylor here singing away, and we're gonna make it not flat first of all, so you know, you can do this however you wanna do it. I'm going to just add a quick little let from the House of Let's Pack. We know we use this guy all the time to get us to this starting point, which is great. So now we've got these nice blues here. I'm gonna add another note, then go to our curves, and specifically the hue versus hue curve. And now we're just gonna, Select our blues here, get a nice wide range. I'm just going to shift them up just a little bit. And now you can see it's subtle. And that might even be a little bit too much. Get it down just a little bit. But you can see before and after is just that, that extra little bit of stuff that makes it pop out. So that is a really, really subtle little thing. But, you know, some people have been asking me for a little bit more detail-oriented, less loud tutorials. And here that is. So that was nice, quick, and fast. If you are a Patreon, I will upload this project file and power grade, and I'll even add a LUT, so you guys can check that out. If you're not a Patreon yet, go and be sure to check that out. The link in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out meestermedia.com slash products. You can check out the house LUTs which used here, as well as a plethora of other goodness. Some free, some not free. You know, take your pick. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends, because it's a handy little trick to have, especially if you just get, you know, a little LUT like this to put on top of your footage, then we're going to be, you know, we're going to be golden. Oh, side note, the Patreons will get a LUT with just the correction and without the correction, so you can just add this guy on top of your footage, which would be nice and subtle, I think. So, once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.